Hello, welcome. An online electronics store must sell at least $2,500 worth of printers and computers per day. Each printer costs $50, and each computer costs $500. Uh, the store can ship a maximum of 15 items per day, and they want us to basically graph the system. So the first thing we want to do is set up an equation uh, to break this question down. So what's going on in this question? Well, we've got, let's see, we've got, we've got to sell $2,500 worth of printers. And we know that it's $50 per printer. Sorry, $2,500 worth of printers and computers. It's $50 per printer and $500 for each computer. And that amount that we sell has to be greater than $2,500. And at most, we can do 15 items per day. So the printers and computers at most has to be less. So as most can be 15. So the number of printers and computers is less than or equal to 15. So now we're going to graph these two things. So, if we scroll down, how are we going to do that? We've got printers is our x-axis, and computers is our y-axis. So my first equation um, was when we have p plus, what was it, p plus c is less than or equal to 15. So I'm going to rewrite that in terms of y, or the output, and that's computers. So I'm going to isolate computers. That C is less than or equal to 15 minus P. I like doing that because if, if my Y axis is C, I'm starting at 15. That's my Y intercept. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's our starting point. It's our Y intercept. We start at 15. Then our slope is down 1 over 1. So we're just going to go like this for our slope. And this is our function that represents all the possible combinations of printers and computers that we could sell. It's C is less than or equal to 15 minus P, so we connect our dots here, and it's everything below. So I'm going to switch my brush style for this, and we get everything below, right? It's this here. And all that's saying is, like, those are all different ways we can sell 15 things. For example, at this point, it's 15 comma 0. So that's 15 printers and no computers. Or on the other side, we can sell 15 computers and no printers. Or we can sell something in between, like this point right here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 printers, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, wait, I count wrong there. Oh, 7 computers. That's 13, because that's less than 15, right? It's all the combinations that are 15 or, or less, essentially. I don't know if I said that wrong the first time. All the combinations that are 15 or less. And the other one is uh, set up as well. We've got, uh, okay, so the next equation, let's change colors, use red. So our next equation, we've got, go back to my other pen. Um, all right, so our equation for the other scenario, we have 50p plus 500c is greater than 2,500. So we divide everything by 50, and p plus 10c is greater than 50. That's the reduction by scale factor of 50. But I isolate C again, so 10C is greater than 50 minus P. And divide by 10, so C is greater than 5 minus 1 tenth P. And this is scary, I think, for a lot of people. But again, we've got 5 for the y-intercept here. And our slope is 1 tenth. Don't try going down a tenth and up 1. You could do that, it's really difficult. Scale it up, go down 1 on the y-axis and over 10 on the x-axis. So it's down 1 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Down 1 on the y-axis, over 10 on the x-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? That, let's make sure, I, I should have marked this. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This goes to 20. Here's 15. 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so down 1 and then up 10 on the x-axis. This is our function here. This time C is everything that's greater than this, so we do a dotted line like this. And it's, it sees everything above it. So we shade above, and we switch markers so it looks somewhat good. This is a really hard graph to set up because of the angles here. It just doesn't look very nice. And this is the graph that shows us all the possible combinations that could work. And that would be this region right here. It's the region where our values are below the blue line or below the uh, total number of printers and computers we could sell. 
and the amount of money that we need to make as well. So determine a combination of printers and computers that will allow the electronic store to meet all the constraints, explain how you know you're right. So I'm just gonna pick a point in this region that's easy to work with. Any point in the region will do. You pick one that you think is easy to work with. I'm gonna pick this point right here. I like that one of the numbers is zero on this point. So for that point, it's the point zero comma 10. To explain how I know, I'm going to plug it into both inequalities. And I'm going to say it, it works for both inequalities. That's our first inequality. This is our second inequality. And if we plug in 0 and 10, it works for both. 0 for printers, 10 for computers. Is that less than or equal to 15? Yes, 10 is less than or equal to 15. 50 times 0 plus 500 times 10. Is that greater than 2,500? Yes. 0 plus 5,000, that is greater than 2,500. And I would say explicitly, it does work for both inequalities. Thanks.